Are you one of those people that walks into an art supply store or a craft store and suddenly your brain leaves your body and you forget all of the supplies that you have back at home? And you see all the shiny objects and you think, I'm a magpie, I need these things. And you fill your cart with all the precious little shiny things that you, your heart desires. Then you leave and you come home and you're like, wait a minute, I already bought something like this and I have all this other stuff. Well, friend, you're not alone because I also do this. That's the goal of this video and a goal that I have this year is using all of these weird things that I've bought over the years in my current art and find different ways to incorporate it. I hope that you will enjoy this journey and use those art supplies that you have. And they're screaming out. They're screaming out for you to use them. If you listen closely right now, you can hear them. Even I can hear them from here. Help me. Use me. What are you doing? Why are you buying more things? Stop it! Here is my bin of shame filled with artificial flowers and plants and Christmas decorations and just really random stuff. So I'm gonna try and use things from this bin and incorporate it in my art pieces and today I'm going to use um, this lily that you see in one of my orchids. My thoughts are I'm going to take these petals off, paint them, and then attach them somehow to the back of the flowers that I'm making, and then also use, because I want to use all the pieces and parts of the flower. Well, like I said, I'm going to remove these, and this might seem just crazy when I'm done, but you just have to trust the process. Trust the process and everything will be fine. <laughs> For this entire piece, I'm using Primo Sculpey Polymer Clay, and I decided to go with this kind of grayish, greenish tone, sage color. Um, I want it to be more of a mossy, natural color. So after putting all the components of the orchid together and coloring it with pan pastels, which is what I used on this one, I decided to add some little moss pieces to it and later on I decided to paint those as well. So now that I have, now that I have these all painted, and they were pretty easy to paint because they're basically like a cloth material, these little artificial, I don't know, grass plant pieces, and I painted them with like a metallic green paint. I think I'm going to add these in as well. And I'm also going to add in some real moss. Uh, and attach it to these. So this is some of the moss that I have. I have other bags that are colored moss, but since this one's an all green one, I'll be doing an all. We'll use the green. I'm going to be using these ones, and this is super messy, which is great. Not like my whole entire desk and studio is messy. Okay, okay, this is absolutely ridiculous, actually. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Ideas are forming in my brain. What I'm thinking is, 
putting glue on this and then just going like this to attach it to these. <coughs> oh my god, there's like <laughs> little particles of moss in the air now. Okay. <laughs> My concern with these is that, of course, you can see the moss is coming off. So I'm thinking I'm going to paint a little bit over some of the moss pieces just to secure it a little more. Hopefully that'll work. And I think I have the layout that I want. It looks really stupid right now because it's not attached. <laughs> but this is pretty much the layout that I want it to be. Okay, just envision it with me. I like how this was a little bit brighter than the kind of grayish tones, green that's going on here. Something just fell over. It freaked me out. Okay, ghosts. Ooh, spooky. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, lost my train of thought. So I didn't really like how this was a different color, but I do like it now. I think it adds some interesting contrast and just a different tone. So I'm going to attach these and then <laughs> add some paint and I'm probably going to add some paint to this, the clay moss that I have here. And my dog is going to start barking. So adding the paint to the petals surprisingly made the moss stick a lot better, but I also used um, another adhesive to make it stick even more. So here she is in all her glory, the mossy deadly orchid who reaches out with her little antennae and grabs you and takes you prisoner in her moss kingdom. And then you become one with the moss, which would be pretty comfortable actually. So I did use the inside or the middle of the lily for the antennae and the stamen part, I think that is, for the mid that's in the middle of the orchid right there. And overall I'm really pleased with it. I think it also kind of looks like a moth, which I also like. Thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you are inspired to also use those art supplies that are screaming out for you to use them. Subscribe if you want to watch me turn other weird things into art pieces. Okay. Bye! <laughs> Stop it! Why are you buying more things? You have many art supplies at home! Stop! <laughs>